What's good everybody? In this video, we are going to be going over some of the biggest prospects that you should be looking out for in the sport of boxing. And just a second before we hop right into talking about these prospects, I want to give a few honorable mentions to guys like Xander Zayas, Jared Anderson, and Keyshawn Davis, and other guys like this who will not be on this list because in my personal opinion, I find them a level above a prospect. I think these guys are very battle tested and they have proven themselves time and time again. So in my opinion, I just think they are a step above the prospect level. But without further ado, let's get into this. Our first prospect on this list is El General Emiliano Vargas. At just 19 years of age, he boasts a record of 8-0 with 7 wins coming by way of knockout. He is rough, he is tough, he is mean, and he has the power to back it. Very much a Mexican style fighter, he comes forward, throws heavy leather, lands bombs and he will put you to bed with one shot he is certainly not afraid of a firefight he is definitely willing to stand in the pocket and take a shot to give a few and because of this he's able to display great signs of instincts when it comes to fighting in the pocket showing off great signs of head movement footwork changes of angles and counter punching also if you factor in his tall lanky stature it makes for a well-rounded fighter who can fight both on the outside and fight in that mid-range. His record speaks for itself with all the green lights and all the knockout victories. Of course, his most notable knockout being in his last fight was a knockout victory against the guy who was 6-2 as a professional and is scheduled to fight next on March 29th with an opponent that has the most experience that he has faced thus far with 18 professional fights. He is a great ambassador for that Mexican style of boxing. You should definitely keep an eye out and keep watch for this Mexican prospect. The next prospect we're going to look at is none other than Mayweather Promotions only. Kermel Moulton. He has definitely become one of the most anticipated and highly hyped up prospects coming out from the amateurs into the professional rankings and he immediately does not disappoint. He now holds a record with 2-0, 100% knockout rate and 100% knockout rate in the first round. Both victories also being held over guys with undefeated records. And the comparisons to Gervonta Tank Davis are not very far-fetched. He is extremely fast he is very powerful for his weight. He can light you up to the head. He can sit you down with the body shots. He cuts really good angles to find openings. And mind you, this is all at just 17 years of age. He has a very exciting style to watch and I look forward to seeing him progress in the future. Next up, we're looking at Abdullah Mason. At just 19 years of age, he boasts a record of 11-0 with 9 wins coming by way of knockout. A precision striker with every punch that is thrown it has some intent behind it. Just look how he utilizes the lead right hook to pull that guard down of his opponent and come over top with a straight left to sit him down. Every strike he throws has a purpose and has an intent behind it, which is what makes this guy a very dangerous fighter. But not only can he fight going forwards, he can fight going backwards. Very reminiscent of a Terrence Crawford. Very often you see him taking a half step back and then unloading that power once his opponent feels comfortable moving forward, leading his opponents to walk straight into big time shots that very often drop them or even knock them out. If you take a look at his record, his most notable win came at the hands of a knockout victory against a guy who has 24 fights as a professional, 20 victories, 4 defeats, and Dula Mason was able to make quick work of him knocking him out in the second round. His next fight is scheduled for just a few days away from today on February 8th against someone with an undefeated 8-0 record. Someone's O has got to go, and I look forward to seeing this fight. Our next prospect is none other than the Cuban sensation and 2020 gold medalist Andy Cruz. He holds a record of 2-0, but make no mistake, this guy is the real deal. His professional career is very much shaping out to look just like how Vasily Lomachenko's looked early on, immediately fighting for titles against very, very experienced and very successful professional fighters. His professional debut, he was able to walk away with a unanimous decision victory over a guy who was 35-7, and seven, and his last fight was an absolute clinic against a guy who was 26-5, and five, knocking him out in the third round. Andy Cruz is really the total package. He has the combinations, the angle changing, the power, the footwork, the speed. He is a very, very well-rounded fighter with an extremely flashy and fan-friendly type of style. His head movement and footwork is so mesmerizing to the fans. The way he is able to move in and out of range while also landing combination after combination is just so fascinating to see. He gets in, lands his shots, gets out, his opponent misses, hops right back in to land some more shots. With that last performance, he is definitely the type of fighter you want to check out. His next fight is scheduled for February 24th, going up against an opponent who is 14-2. There's no doubt Andy Cruz is definitely the type of fighter you want to see moving forward. And the last prospect we are going to be talking about in this video is Bruce Shushu Carrington. At 26 years of age, he boasts a record of 10-0 
with six wins coming by way of knockout. And there is no doubt that this cat is not afraid of a scrap. Very often see him egging on his opponent, begging them to come on, press on the action, let's fight. Bruce Carrington is another slick, power-punching fighter with great combinations. I love the way he slightly changes angles constantly, which can create openings in his opponent for him to land those big shots. Something is very mesmerizing about seeing these lower weight fighters carry so much power in those fists whenever they land these deadly combinations. His most notable victory was his last fight against an opponent who was 16 and four, and he was able to take him out in just two rounds. His next fight takes place in his hometown in New York City on February 16th against an opponent with a good record in 18 victories, one defeat. Definitely a fight I will be checking out. But that's all the prospects I got for you guys today. Feel free to let me know in the comments any prospects you think I should make a part two on. And of course, let me know which prospect you think will have the most success in the future. As always, I thank you all so much for your support, and I'll catch you in the next video.